what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump in and i want to see who is coming towards you in the next 48 hours okay so this is going to be for your sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the mandula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said guys let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest all right spirit let's see who is coming towards my lovely sagittarian ninth house collective in the next 48 hours who is coming towards sagittarius in the next 48 hours oh that was super quick this person's been watching you and i do feel like that it will catch you off guard when this person comes in um the card that fell in my lap yeah it's that baby Okay, so the person that's coming towards you in the next 48 hours, this person is being caught off guard. Something like you're catching this person unexpectedly. They're, they're like the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Um, wow, it's a lot. In the next 48 hours, whoever is approaching you, it's a lot. It's You're catching this person off guard. This person is catching you off guard. It's a lot going on for what this for this person. It could be um, Virgo Leo. Um, it's, this could be someone that's born between uh, December twenty second and March the uh, and March the twentieth. So this is definitely someone that's probably born in the Pisces, I mean in the March month. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Does that make, would that make them a Pisces? Absolutely. Um, the end of March is Piscean energy. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a Pisces. But I feel like the, the person that's coming towards you in the next 48 hours, you're catching this person off guard. Uh-oh. Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? There's something that's very caught off guard. There's definitely something very much so caught off guard about this person coming towards you in the next 48 hours. Maybe you've done something to catch them off guard and they feel like that they only have 48 hours to come and fix this issue. I keep on hearing Ray J. I only got four minutes. <laughs> no, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. It sure is. Four minutes. Wow. While this person is coming towards you, married, love spell, what? What's going on with this person that's approaching Sag? Heartbroken. Someone could be finding out. This person, this person is being caught off guard, either finding out that Sagittarius, you're married or committed, or this person is married, and they've gotten their heart broken inside of that marriage. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, rock bottom messages, conversations, deuces fed up, karma, oh my goodness. So... In the next 48 hours, Sag, you could have someone coming towards you. They have been through a recent shakeup. There's definitely been some sort of shakeup in this person's life. Uh, they feel like that they're facing some sort of karma, hitting rock bottom. This person could be unexpectedly expressing their emotions. Let's roll the dice to get a more concise message. Like I said, I feel like that this could be someone that is born Knight of Pentacles energy. Oh, I think I looked at the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is May 21st through June the 10th. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. The Page 
of Swords is what we're looking at. And that is December 22nd through March the 20th. The Knight of Pentacles is August the 12th through September the 11th. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, this could be a Virgo, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus. So, heavy on the earth energy. Heavy on the earth. Here goes Leo that just hit the ground. Which the Knight of Pentacles is Leo energy. Leo, Virgo, if you want to be honest. All right, Spirit, what's going on here? What's going on? How will Sagittarius know this person? I've got all the earth signs here. They're what well, I'm looking at. All of it. Let's just see. Who is this person? How will Sagittarius know this person that's coming towards them in the next 48 hours, Spirit? Wow. I, I don't have reversals. The whole, I don't have reversals in this deck. Um, but we do have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this is definitely someone that is experiencing some sort of... You would know this person. They were unrequited love for you. Um, it was a very um, unrealistic expectation. I, it was a missed opportunity with this person. It seems like that maybe you possibly had unrealistic expectations when it came to this person. Yeah. I do feel like that this person is coming in like a wrecking ball and it's going to require you to cut away any unnecessary feelings and or emotions that prevent forward movement. What is this person's intentions with coming towards Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? This person's intentions is the four wands and the magician. This person is manifesting some sort of... The intentions is to manifest in a relationship or manipulate their way into having a relationship with you. Um, the four... I mean, the world card here at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. They want to start... They want to shift... They... <laughs> This person is wanting to shift the way that you guys cooperate together. They're wanting to take the authoritative position in a new cycle between you all. This could be someone that you're married to. Um, this could be someone that you're separated from. You would definitely feel like that this person is unrequited in the love. The person that's coming towards you in the next 48 hours. Either they're experiencing some sort of heartbreak in their marriage. Or you guys are married together. Been separated. This person is trying to figure out a way to start a new cycle. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? This could be a Gemini. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Oh my goodness. How they feel about Sagittarius? You're married to this person. This is who you're married to. Or this is who you're actively committed to. Okay. Um, how they feel about you is the full card. There is a sense that this person feels like you're very naive easy going um this person feels like that they want a new beginning with you i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna hold you and i i almost feel like that this person has spent some time thinking about this and it almost catches them off guard how much they're not ready to let this go yeah they're not ready to let this go they have some re they have some regrets and they're coming to and they're coming to seek your forgiveness what is this person's thoughts as it pertains to Sag? What is this person's thoughts as it pertains to Sag? This could be an Aquarius, Sagittarius. I mean, could be a Sagittarius, Pisces. We have Jupiterian energy here. Um, could be a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Um, 
their thoughts as it pertains to you, they, they definitely feel like that this is some sort of, wow, faded divine counterpart here. Um, yeah, damn, 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 damn. They, I'm telling you what, they thought that they could end this. They thought they was ready to, but the more and more that they think about this, the more and more they know that they got to get reacclimated, and the more and more that they think that they about their acclimation period, the more and more they're like, okay, pineapples, I'm not ready to let go of Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting here. What actions, like, in what way will this person approach Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? In what way will this person approach Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? Wearied anxiety. Oof. Communicate. It is going to be via like text message or something like that. Um, it's it's like the way that this person talks to you. They will like. I feel like there's going to be text messages or maybe an email. I'm really not getting the phone call. Quite frankly, I'm not really getting the phone call. But I am getting. You will be able to sense the anxiety in their text message and or email or the way that their message like there's definitely the actions they are going to be reaching out, but it's via text message. Um, I feel like that there's a, like a text message or uh, for some of you all, it could be a phone call. I'm not really feeling a phone call. I just feel like that you're going to see a shift in the way that this person speaks to you. And there, it's going to show some sort of anxiety as it pertains to closing it out permanently. They have had a change of mind. They have had a change of mind. I definitely feel like that for a lot of you all, this is someone that you're married to or heavily committed to. This person, it looks like in the next 48 hours, is having a change of mind. Um, their intentions is to manifest, an, uh, like to, to, to use the resources that they have to stabilize this relationship out. Okay. Their feelings towards you is the fool card. Their thoughts about you is the will of fortune. Definitely feel like your faded counterpart. Their likely actions in the like how they will approach you in the next 48 hours is the nine of swords, the page of swords. They will be communicating and you will be able to see the anxiety that they have as it pertains to ending this connection. What is Sagittarius's advice as it pertains to how, how should Sagittarius respond to this person that will be approaching them in the next 48 hours? Page of Cups. Um, be honest with yourself. Be honest with your emotions. Um, if I'm being honest, it's sad you might have an apology to offer here. Um, I don't feel like that it's only one person that needs to apologize here in this situation. Yeah. There's definitely a need to be diplomatic as it pertains to have to like there is a compromise that will be able to be made here. You're being advised to make the apology to compromise. However, I want you to know that in order to make it through the conflict that you and this person have, it is going to require a level of diplomacy from you because you're going to be having to face some fears you're going to have to speak some anxieties from a non-conflicting perspective i do feel like that you have anxieties surrounding this situation they do too um but i feel like that the way that you hand sagittarius my viewer handles their anxieties is very confrontational so there is a need to temper that in and and and, and you know be brave enough to handle and face the anxiety and the fear without needing a defensive mechanism that automatically draws out a defense mechanism from this person. Show me more on the Page of Cups. This is Sagittarius' advice. Yeah, I see the Eight of Swords. Um, there are some thoughts, like... 
there's some things that are in your mind that you just don't bring up out of I don't know if it's to keep the peace out of fear that um, you're not going to be able to handle it from an adult perspective. There are some things that have there's a discussion that must take place here. You have to set yourself free from the things that keep you trapped. Whatever storylines that you're telling yourself that you feel like you may need to get some clarity on, but you may feel like childish and naive for having these concerns, you're going to have to just kind of do it. The issue is, is learning how to do it from a non-confrontational perspective. Yeah, you're definitely holding on to some things in the mental space that make it quite difficult for you to move forward with this person. And it also makes it difficult for you to stand in your divine feminine energy as well. But I do feel like that you and this person are being given an opportunity to overcome the obstacles that has caused some pain in this situation here. What is this person's anxieties about? Show me the nine of swords, please. Can you show me anything on the the hierophant? Mm -hmm. They have they have anxiety that this about ending this relationship. They do. Yeah, they have anxiety. You possibly have children with this person. Um, they have anxiety about the process. They do. There could be some anxiety as it pertains to the process of severing ties, especially if you all share children. I definitely feel like that this person is going to illuminate. They're going to say something along the lines that they made a decision to rash like they spoke too soon there's definitely a discussion that is going to happen could be via text message for some of you all this is phone call this person made a decision out of anger i don't think this person is ready to let go of this connection yet what's the hierophant with the nine of swords yeah the ten of wands um, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Uh, they're not willing to. They're not ready to let this nurturing energy that you do offer them go. Um, I also feel like that you know, this person has a lot. I, 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 I really do feel like that this person has a lot on their shoulders. They have a lot on their shoulders. And I feel like that they're recognizing how that could have played into this rash decision that this person made. What's on the subconscious of this person? What's the subconscious thoughts for this person that's coming towards Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? Could be a Taurus, got heavy Taurus here. Could be a Gemini, could be an Aquarius, could be a Sagittarius, could be a Virgo, could be an Aquarius. What's on the subconscious mind with this? Clarify the Nine of Swords for me with the subconscious. I wonder if you're happy with yeah, this person is not. Like they wonder if you're happy. I lost myself for a while. This person is wondering. Like this person is beginning to reflect. And they're recognizing that because of the amount of responsibilities and burdens that were on their shoulders. They were not showing up properly for this connection. And so that kind of, that revelation is catching this person off guard. And they're headed towards they're headed towards Sagittarius. Because they're like, okay, hold up. Things aren't right. This person is going to try to like this person could the like the text message that's going to show you the anxiety. This person could like allude to, like ask you, is this really what you want? Um, are you happy? Are you happy since they've been gone? Um, they've not been happy since they've been gone. Things haven't felt right for them since they've been gone. There's something along that lines here that is coming in 
within the next 48 hours and it is because this person has had a major epiphany can you show me what is catching this person off guard what is the thought spirit that is catching this person off guard <laughs> They're not done. And they don't want like they don't they want to be more than friends. So like if you guys are saying like that the marriage or the relationship just doesn't work with the title, this person is like, fuck that, Sag. This is not what I'm looking for. Pineapples. I wasn't ready. I've gained a different perspective. I understand that I gotta make a change. Will this person make the necessary changes? Let's see. Will this person make the necessary changes in order to stabilize this connection spirit? Wish granted. Wish granted. It becomes a fairy tale when you make it real. I, I do feel like this person will put the effort in. Look at that what that says. It says effort results. I do feel like that with this revelation that this person is having, there will be some major changes growing. Um, I, I think that you guys um, are going to be having this conversation. There's going to be still some space. to. Th this person is taking this time and space that you guys have had to actually think. And they're evolving. I think this person is going to ask, which is why you're advised of the Page of Cups. This person is going to bring to light where they feel like that the respect was mutually lost. And and, and, the, and, and like how this person feels like the, the respect level for both of you all need to be elevated. But this person is, this person desires to... Um, empower this love this person definitely is coming around to empower this connection they want to work on this foundation Sag, I, I, this is a beautiful reading honey this is a beautiful reading beautiful reading it does look like that somebody had a knock they head but baby this person is not like this person has had a major epiphany that they want you close this out Um, you are going to be asked to release some old grudges, release some wounds. Forgiveness is a must here inside of this connection. It will require some forgiveness for you, from you and this person. What is Sagittarius's advice? Yes, peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. Rest, listen to your body. Mentally and physically unwind. Something is definitely energy activation. There's an, there's an activation taking place inside of this connection. Spirit is asking you to make peace with this, with what you need to make peace with. So that you can have the proper conversation with this person in the next 48 hours. Alright Sagittarius, I hope that this message offered you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonates, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Peace love and light.